There was a school building sitting over on the two acres that hadn't been used for several years. And uh, the man that owned the land that the, that the building sat on, that was supposed to go back to him if they, if they quit having school. And they hadn't had any school for uh, over two years. So they wanted to move it over here, but uh, the time was already up. So the school board president had me and, uh, and another fella. He come and asked us if we'd uh, go get that equipment over there. I think she uh, playground equipment. And then he had a, a house mover to move the building. And then uh, Edgar Rafe was supposed to move the propane tank and uh, and, uh, and pull, the, pull the, the water well out. Edgar Rafe at that time had a propane business, didn't he, at St. Francis? Edgar Rafe at that time had a propane business at yeah. St. Francis, and so he uh, he knew how to handle that. And uh, so when the time came, we were supposed to do that right quick. <laughs> and... Uh, we had been warned to, to be ready to do that on a, just a few minutes' notice. <laughs> and, uh, like this was being done in the slide. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Mr. Hogue come by one day and he said, it's time to do it. So, we all got over there and myself and another fella, we moved the piano out of the school to another man's house. Then we went back and cut down the, the uh, playground equipment, and we loaded it up, and the house mover was there, and put his skids under the building, and that grave, he pulled a, the water well, and, the, and uh, there was some water in the tank, so he took the water and we floated the, at that time they put all them propane tanks in the underground. Uh -huh. And he, uh, he floated that tank to the top and then he was able to uh, load it up and get it out of there. And so he pulled. used the water out of the yeah. storage tank to, to yeah. empty it out and, and used uh, it to float. The and he pulled, uh, he pulled all the pipe and sucker rods down and the windmill took it down. At that time, all your water was pumped by the windmill. We didn't have pumps. And uh, the house we would put his skids under the building. And uh, this other man and I, we, we, uh, we got all the playground equipment, got it out of there. And, uh, and the building and everything was gone in about two hours. Now, where did you take the playground equipment? Oh, where'd you take it? Where'd you take the playground equipment? Do what? The playground equipment, where did you take it? I don't remember where we took it to. I don't know whether we brought it over here. Or took it to St. Francis? Would you have Somebody taken it? went to St. Francis. I, I think. think so. Because we there was a they school. Was, they, had plenty, they had plenty of playground equipment here, so some of the equipment went to, to, to St. Francis. Down there at St. Francis, a little school there. A school there. Uh, a little parochial school. And then uh, they moved that building over into the other county, and, uh, and they... And then when they got ready to put it, they brought it over here and put it on the east side of this right here. It used to be the band room. I don't know what it still yeah, is. That yeah. still is. It's the music room. You know, oh. where the music area is. That's I think I've been in there. Yes, where the hardwood floor. At that, mm -hmm. at that that's time, there was only building. one building here. <laughs> at that time, there was only one building here for this school, and that was over there, and they moved this one in, put it next to it. <laughs> Do 
do you remember who it was that, that uh, worked with you on getting the playground equipment? Do you remember who that was? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you're not going to give his name? <laughs> it was Ray Sanning. Huh? Ray Sanning. And that's S A N N I N G. The man that owned it. The land was Harry Crabby. Okay. Where the school set was Harry Crabby, and that's spelled K R A B B E. And he talked about Edgar Wraith, uh -huh. and that's yeah. R A E F. Wraith. And was Mr. Hogue the uh, president of the school board at yes. that time? Was that? Uh, J.R. Hogue. And that's H O G G E. And uh, all this has been in Yeah, he was president of the school board. It took several weeks home. from the, to get everything just right. Yeah. Because they were waiting for this one man that, that owned the land. They were waiting for him to leave town. Wait for him to leave town. That was Crabby uh, that owned the uh, land. Uh, <laughs> what was Crabby's first name? What was Crabby's was that, first name? Was that Harry Crabby? Harry. Was it Harry? Yeah, he was the one that owned the land. He owned the land. Uh, In other words, if it, uh, the, anything after a certain time, anything was left on the land belonged to him, right? Yes. Okay. They quit having school at that time, I understood. But if they quit having school there for more, uh, two years or more, then that everything went back to him, and they was wanting that building over here, and the two years was up. Oh, okay. And they had to do that because it was... So they waited till he left town, then they went and got it. Yeah. Okay. Did y'all ever get in trouble, or was there any uh, repercussion that you had? We could have, but... There wasn't. <laughs> there wasn't. <laughs> we was warned about that to begin with. Oh. <laughs> were, were you all worried about doing this or scared, or was so. this just something that I'm you I was young did? enough, I didn't give a darn that's anyway. What, that's, 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 that's important. <laughs> yeah, that's important to know. He's young enough, he didn't. What, did did uh, this guy ever uh, come and talk to you or anything about why the building was gone? He didn't talk to us. He talked to, he talked to the school board and that up there to, at that time, on the school board and everything met in the courthouse. Right, Potter County School Board. Everything was Potter County, wasn't it? All, all the yeah. schools were under, under one. They were starting to, what they was doing, they had so many schools around here that it was spreading them out for thing. They was beginning to consolidate the schools and uh -huh. masters and come up here and then this and here was when they moved that building over. Uh, Masterson School, they tore it down. It was all brick. This wasn't Allison School, was it? Uh, no, Allison was back over there by Marshall. Oh, okay. That was Allison over there. Uh, and, See, I uh, can't think what the name of that was. They just had several buildings. It wasn't, it was, well, there was three here, you see. One here, and then Masterson was down there on that, uh, clear on the north end of Masterson Road. Uh -huh. And then uh, Allison was over there right there by, you know, where Sarkar was at. Yeah, yeah. It was in the back in the middle of that. Okay. When, when, they, when you moved that building in, what is the music room now, What, what? how big was the other building that was there? Well, the... The two-room school or... The, the old school to, to start with, I think it sat on the south side of the bathroom. Do you remember how many rooms were in that old school or the original school building? Uh, don't know. I don't remember. Oh. So I'm sure what, what I'm saying probably is that uh, everything else was tore down and, and that, that the old part you y'all moved is is still down there. Yeah. And everything else was moved away and they built on, I yeah, suppose. They fit it in there somehow or other and then they added on to it. Everything. You, remember, you, you said you didn't remember what year that was that y'all no, did that? I sure don't. Okay. Okay, what year were you married, Buster? What year did y'all get married? 43. 43. So 
So it was after after that. After that. that, that, was after that. Yeah. Like did you have any children at home when when you did that? Do you remember that? That we might track I think we had, I think, we had, I think Louise was born there. Louise. Okay. And yeah. uh, Louise I was I don't know whether Judy was or not, but I think so. So, if you married in 43, and Louise was born in probably... In the, it's probably in the late 40s. I, yeah, I'd say middle to late 40s. Probably mid 40s. Uh, if, if only those two girls were born. Yeah. Buster, you, uh, did the uh, school sit in Potter County that you went and got? Was that school situated in Potter County? That yeah, the yeah, one. Yeah. Okay, and then you said you moved it out of the county. They moved it into Randall County, which was into it took it south. See, just one or two, oh, maybe a mile. And and it was then, pretty close to the mine. That. Hmm. What was the reason to take it out of Potter County and take it into another county? I can't answer that. You can't answer that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sure well, Mr. Hogue had a reason. <laughs> Because he was an attorney. He knew, what, he knew what he was an attorney. <laughs> and he, he knew was, what he could do. Yeah, yeah, he was a very knowledgeable man. And so and so he was the one that was ramrodding or uh, uh, getting this Mr. all organized. Mr. Hogue lived right up here about, well, from right here, it'd be approximately a mile and a half. Oh. So you know where the, side of the road. where the intersection is for 1912 in mm -hmm. St. Francis uh -huh. Avenue? Uh -huh. That's where J.R. That's where he lived? Oh, no, no, no. That was uh, Hodges that lived there. He lived uh, like a mile on down the road. Okay. There's a, a dirt road that goes into the field yeah, I, toward I, the east. I think I know about where you been. A cattle guard there. And, and, and they had a huge big home, lots of trees. They were horticulturalists. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Were y'all laughing the whole time you were doing this? I'm sure we were. <laughs> School house thieves. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good title. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll let them work on that, and they may need to get back with you and visit with you some more. Okay. And uh, we appreciate you telling this story. Buster, do you remember was the building in really good condition still? Oh, I'm sure it was. <laughs> well, I know it was. Because it really wasn't that old of a building, was it? I don't know about that. Oh. Yeah. Those, uh, well, have you, have you been in the I... building lately down there where the one he's talking about? No. It's, got, they, it's uh, got those little hardwood floors. They're, they're still beautiful. Uh, really? And how far back does the records go on schools like that? Wouldn't they be in the courthouse? Yeah, yeah, we ought to be able to find out. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. To the courthouse. To I mean, that's what it Yeah, it, 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 it looks like it would be. Yeah, yeah, it, it has to be. At that time, of course, of course, of course I, I don't know if there's anything there that uh, said some thieves stole that school and moved it <laughs> over. Yeah, it probably was just a very vague, <laughs> vague. nothing was moved in. <laughs> well, as I know, everybody participated, they all did now. <laughs> <laughs> That's really right. The whole one left. That's why this story, <coughs> they had to get this story. Yeah, That's right. <laughs> no, I was yeah. told that... Uh, I was told that that fellow, he hired him as an attorney, and uh, he met with the school board in the next uh, the next meeting. I mean, they had, at that time, I think they just had a meeting once a month. And uh, they, him and his attorney, they, uh, they uh, uh, met with the school board, then when everybody explained to the attorney what, uh, to his attorney, what the deal was, uh, you used to have left. Oh, really? Now he's talking yeah. about the landowner. Well, that's, the way, that's what, and his that's attorney what Mr. Said. Hogue told us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 Now, was this always called Highland Park School, or was it like Potter County? What? Was this uh, always called Highland Park School, oh, yeah. or was it 
Potter you know, County something. How, how did how yeah. did you know how it got the name Highland Park? I don't know. It was here before I ever come here. Was there any ever, way my did, folks moved was here? Was anything here ever here before? My besides folks, the school. My mm -hmm. folks moved here in 1932, and it was already here then. And this here was all a, uh, a big, uh, can't remember that guy's name. And he had, he owned this corner, I mean this whole section. Mm -hmm. And they put the school on his property. And it, uh, and then they came back years later and put this air base in there. I mean, uh, well, they had, you bet. Uh, they, Thank you. they moved English Field over here. Mm -hmm. English Field used to be right there close to that. You know, when you go down this area, when you get up there and you go under that underpass on the railroad up there. Oh, oh let's see. It's, it's on west from you know the loop. When you go in Amarillo, you have to go under underpass. Oh, okay. The old English Field was right there on the Side Are you talking about Lakeside? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So no, in, no, no, not no, that was, far no. up. No, You're talking about further, 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 closer in Tamarilla. A little further. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. yeah. That used to be the old English field. Then they, then they brought it out here. I didn't know that. Yeah. Kind of like in the area of where the prison is now. It wasn't that far north, though, where the prison is. Because it, it was the, right. That was on the west side of that. West, there. Hmm. On the west side of the prison, there. On that side of 24. Okay. Uh -huh. Huh. That's when, the, when that was where the first tri motor and, uh, planes came in. Oh, really? They called them tri motor. Mm hmm. They had three engines on them one in the middle and two on the middle side. First ones landed, that's where that was. Mm. Okay, we'll, pro can... we'll probably get back to you on some more stuff. <laughs> Do y'all have some questions that you want to ask they of were him? All answered. I know, they were all answered. <laughs> Are they all answered? He does a good job mm. telling us about it. <laughs> well, we'll let him work on it and uh, we'll get back with you. Okay? Okay. Buster, we appreciate you.